Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. Today we're going to be unboxing some expansions for Villages of Valeria which are Expansion Pack 1 Guild Halls, Expansion Pack 2 Monuments and then Villages of Valeria Landmarks and Architects and this is a Kickstarter version. So I would like to thank Daily Magic Games for sending me these review copies. Um, and if you don't know exactly what Villages of Valeria is about, you can go and check out that unboxing first or possibly my review video might be made by the time you get here. Um, you could check that out too. Um, but for now, I'm just going to open the, all the little expansions together because one video, I think, for each one would be slightly too much because, you know, they're, they're basically booster packs in two of these cases. So I'm going to do them chronologically in order. So, expansion pack one is called Guild Halls. It's not a standalone game, unsurprisingly. Does it tell us anything about it other than the fact it's in a booster? Um, it just tells you it introduces new buildings, um, four new adventures, four new events. Um, so that sounds good. Um, so it just seems like it's adding more good things to the base game. I like the fact there's a little notch at the top with which you can open it up. It's been a while since I've opened a booster. <laughs> Brings back Magic the Gathering memories. Okay, so in this expansion, you receive. I'll have a look at the back of the cards. So there's a thing for event card setup, which is fine. Um, as you know, there are like at least two different. These two different types of cards are normally in the game. So these are usually buildings and things. So look, festivals, events, aisles. Yeah. So these are kind of the new event cards. Still very cool art. The quality of the cards is lovely. And then character cards. So the miner has sapper. It's cool. A shaman and a squire. The squire should go with his knight, of course. Um, the artwork is lovely. The card quality is very, very nice. And it seems to be just more of, you know, the stuff that you already enjoy in Villages of Valeria. So you're just expanding upon that. Very, very cool. So that's the first one. Short and sweet, isn't it? Sometimes not everything has to be big and I think, so I'll put it over there. Okay, pack two is Monuments. Yet again, not a standalone expansion. And monuments include eight monuments and four new adventurers. Takes, monuments take a lot of resources to build and slight adjustments to the actions are made when you add these cards to the game. Okay, so this could, you know, it'd be very exciting indeed. I assume these all mean more to you if you've, if you've played the base game. I have, I have just unboxed it, so I don't really fully understand yet. So what do we got? So the back of the cards, so we've got a blue one telling you how the build card works and monument card setup. I love that those cards are there just to help you along so you don't need a little rule book. And then you've got these white ones now on the back and then more of these kind of people cards. So we now have a baker, a captain, oh I like the mage, and a peddler. The peddler looks really crazy. Crazy. These are really nice cards. So the people, so then these must all be monuments. So let's see what these look like. Well, clearly you need a lot of stuff to bait, make one, but they look like they're worth a good lot of victory points. These are very pretty. Oh, look, the Emerald Stronghold. A Gargan's Embrace. <laughs> from Mortar Keep. Holds great from Memorial. The Desert Orchid. And the Orb of Urdur. Urdur. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it just seems to, need to be adding more things to the base game, you know, to make it more replayable and have some more variety. All good stuff, kind of things you want to see in an expansion. So yeah, that sounds great. That's the blue one. So now we're on to the big box. Dun 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 dun. There's the only one that's got its own box. And apparently this has two in it, so landmarks and architects. So first things first, the box is really nice <laughs> actually. Um so here we go, all new landmark um mechanic opens new ways to earn victory points. Okay, that makes sense. Let's see what's in the box. Ooh. Well, hello, hello. So this is why this one's in a box. Oh! Windmill me, windmills. Oh, you have to be kidding me. This is awesome. That's like a lighthouse. I will have a look at all these in a second. They're like statues. Oh, wow. Some very cool Roman arches. I don't think you can see these through the plastic bags. I'm just freaking out. Give me a minute. Oh, gosh. These are glorious. Okay, um, actually, yeah, I will open them up. They deserve this. These are some of the nicest little components I've seen. So, first things first, come with me. Some kind of tiny tower. Isn't that cute? 
Oh, I think it's lovely. It's a really well weighted and that's printed on very well as, as, as well. No stickering to be done. So then, so that was orange. I don't think these are actually done by player colour. Oh look, these two are stuck together. Well, you can't be arch buddies no more. Now, see, then you get these lovely little pieces. That's a cool arch. My favourite is the windmill, so I'll leave it to last. Because, you know, windmills. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. What's this one? Oh, it's a little knight. It's like a knight statue. He's much smaller than the other ones. There we go. And then... Two more things. Actually, the blue tower looks exact same as the orange tower, but it's in blue. So, I'll save that one, but I will show you the windmills, because I was very impressed. So, obviously, we're going to build these things. Look at that, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Wow. Super, I was not expecting that inside there. Because, you know, everything else I've opened has been cards and some cards for this card game. And then it gives you that. Fabulous. Okay, oh, we get a little or a little organizer. Can you see that? It says buildings on it. Um, architects. So it's an organizer for the box. I wonder, does that work in the other box? It looks a little tall. No idea yet. And then we have down to the cards. Oh, and there's a rule book. Tiny, tiny rule book. Oh, more than one rule book. Okay, so we got the rules for the art rule sheet for the architect expansion. So this just tells you what the components, how to set up the game, some of the concepts because there are new cards. Now all comes on one sheet, which is always good. Um, the architect cards, how to play, scoring, yeah, perfect. They're all, you know, just enough. You know what I mean? You don't need anything more than that. Um, I assume this is the exact same for the the landmarks. It is. Um, explains. There's the components for them. There we go. Um, I love that the orange one's called the silo. Game setup, concepts. Yeah, the same how to play it. Um, this one seems a little bit more lengthier than the others, but they're both there. Very cool. Okay, now the big one has the tab, so we'll go with the tab first. I have much more luck with those. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So far, these expansions seem to just be kind of adding slight variation to the main game. They don't seem to have done anything kind of groundbreaking, but are just adding more ways to expand upon the original idea, which is, seems really positive to me. Um, so more of these dark ones than the light ones then the light ones then these are completely new and then the dark ones so the dark ones are normally people i was not entirely wrong with this constable soon by builder a corsair he should be wearing a tricorne hat if you ask me a treasurer <laughs> the king's herald oh look rado the guildmaster so <laughs> so rado made it into the game i like it Isaac the Planner, Neil and Malone, Esperanza, so quite a few people. Martha Lightbrenner, Donald Glover, <laughs> classy, there's a Vardo. So now we're on to the green things, so they're like places, isn't it? Things you can build. Spring, and then we get to events and stuff next, I believe. So there's more house stuff. Great Hall, Amphitheater, all the kind of things, a great temple. A hero's tomb is always worth building. A festival, then it must be the event. Then we've got things like this, where it looks like you can go and trade with boats. Very cool. Big trade things, big exchanges. Nice. So yeah, more of the same goody goodness with um, a hint of newness. Come on. Oh, maybe it'll just give in and be nice. Yes. So this one section is completely separate. I think these, ty these type of cards. There's a couple of these. So basically it seems like in these expansions you're getting a little bit extra for everything and then there seems to be one new concept that gets used. So this seems to be the one new concept bit. So you have a gate and a windmill. Yeah, the statue. These are the things we were looking at. The silo and the wind tower. So they all give you special things you can use them for. And then it seems to be more, you know, things, things you can build. Lots of those and more people. 
wonder how the people work in this. I'll have to figure that out. A fucking miller, a sculptor, that would make sense, a farmer, and a wardsmith. So yeah, so that is everything that's inside the Landmarks and Architect box, although it was a very pleasant surprise. Curious to see how you use the organizers. In what box? <laughs> I don't think they fit in the, in the box for the base game. So I'm curious. There's an effort being made here to help you organize your collection. I'll, I'll give them that. Um, but sure, who knows? Now, let's put all this stuff in. So we we'll remember where it lives. Perfect. And then cram it full of awesome tokens. I can see I'm going to have issues already. Yeah. Totally meant it. Just <laughs> I don't want to destroy the box entirely, so we'll do this. So, here are the other two expansions. There we go. So, you've been watching Board Game Inquisition, and we've been unboxing some Villages of Valeria expansions. Namely, what was the first one called? Guild Halls, Monuments, Landmarks, and Architects. So, that's going to be a lot to add to your original game, right? Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, why not think about doing something nice like liking or subscribing to the channel or maybe telling someone else I exist because, you know, that would also be great. Um, and until next time, I'll be here playing games, possibly doing another unboxing and hopefully you will join me for it. And until next time then, take care. Bye bye.